In the 1970s, American designer Halston was the toast of the New York press. He was America's first fashion celebrity and a four-time Cody Award winner. He dressed the best, but began his life humbly. It's very strange, but very true. I always wanted to be in the fashion business from the time I was about four or five years old. I was always fascinated with it. And I was a very devoted friend of, uh, of Halston, and I realized right away that he was a, a, an absolute genius and would be, I felt that he would be one of our leaders, and he was. What you, a lot of designers go today, the minimalistic look, it's really horse and clone. One of the true beginners of American fashion, at its simplest and its best. We see memories of Austin in many of the collections. Starting out as a talented milliner, his famous pillbox hat for Jackie Kennedy put him on the fashion map. It uh, was a very interesting moment for millinery and for me because it was when the now Mrs. Onassis was the young, beautiful Mrs. Kennedy. I became very, very famous quickly on that. I remember when he first designed hats at Bergdorf, and then suddenly he designed clothes, and the clothes were much more beautiful than the hats. Throughout the 70s, his work, as well as his social life, was at its zenith. His designs epitomize clean, elegant American fashion, but he is perhaps best remembered for the introduction of ultra suede. What I think I tried to do was sort of relax the mood of fashion um, for Americans so that Americans could believe in American style. What we did was to make it understandable Stylish, comfortable, relaxed, and uh, um, good looking for a lot of people. I got as close, I think, as anybody to him. He knew everything about me was always there if I needed him as a friend, as a designer, as a brother. He once asked me what I wanted to look like, and I said, I don't know, female Fred Astaire during the day and a movie star at night. <laughs> he said, oh, all right. And he did it. You know, it was amazing. I mean, there's no magic about fashion. Fashion is made by people, all kinds of different people. But in fact, they have to put their money down, and they have to buy it, and it must work for them. Halston was forced to retire from his own label in 1984 and died in self-imposed exile in 1990. Although Halston the man may have passed on, his name through a series of young American designers lives on.